But here in Tampa, uh, you'll need the glasses the entire time, so you'll, you won't be able to take them off ever. Uh, but we will see a partial solar eclipse, um, and it starts, I believe we're going to get full graphics here yes. so that we can uh, put the time frame on, because probably a lot of you are watching from Tampa. It starts at 143, the partial eclipse. So that means that is the exact time when the very edge of the moon starts to block out the sun. So that means if you look up at 143, you're probably not going to notice a whole lot. <laughs> but if you look up at 2 o'clock, right, uh, you'll start to see the basically the bite taken out of the sun. And maximum eclipse for Tampa is at 3 o'clock. So my suggestion to you is set an alarm on your phone right now for Monday at 3 p.m. Because that's when you'll want to look up. That's when we'll, you'll want to use your glasses and yes. look up. And you will see about 65% of the sun blocked out by the moon. And just know that that black, dark spot that you're looking at is the moon. It's it's pretty cool. Yeah, let me see if I I'm just going to go back to this graphic really quickly at the top because it shows what partial eclipses look like yeah. as it happens. So everything but the center is what you're going to see mm -hmm. right there. So you have to be in the path of totality to see the center, but probably the the second one in is how it'll look for Tampa. Yeah, I mean uh, about that in between the second one um in and in the and the third one in 60% of the sun covered is 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 quite a bit now. The last one in 2017 we did have more. So if you experience that a little bit less of the sun will be covered by this one. Mm -hmm. But just know that in Tampa, that, you know, if you're not looking up without with the glasses, you're not going to really know that anything is happening. It might look a little grayer outside, maybe, but for the most part, they're, you know, about 40% of the sun's still out, and that is plenty for the light to be out there. You're not going to see the darkening of the skies. You know, the animals are going to act normal. Um, that is why we say... Get to the path if you can, yes. the path of totality, because you can. You, we're going to go through a couple other fun things that you can do in the, during the partial uh, phase here. But for you to notice this, you have to be reminded, basically, because mm -hmm. if you're out and about at Monday at three o'clock, you're really just not going to know that anything is happening unless you are looking at the shadows on the trees on the of the trees on the ground, or you use your glasses and you actually look at the sun. And the good news about a partial eclipse is you have a lot longer time period yes. to enjoy it. So if you do go outside at 3 o'clock and it's cloudy, just wait a few minutes for the yeah. clouds to pass and then you can see it. It's not quite that threading the needle uh, where you only have a few moments. Of the three minutes or whatever it is that you get to take off your glasses. <laughs>